the interest in barbecue itself, just speaking, you know, that, I mean, if you would look at that guest list and tell me in Lexington, Texas, them people are coming every week, you know, if you'd have come to me with that proposal, I said, you've lost your mind. I mean, and we figured after the recognition, we're going to, two or three months, and it's going to fade kind of right on back to like it was. We've been at this since 08. I mean, you know, ups and downs more than others, but there hadn't been a a depressing week in, since that time. There had been, I mean, it's crazy. All right, trip to the front of the line or your choice. 58. 58. That's you. That's you. That's me. Are you by yourself? No. How many of y'all are there? Five. Five. Oh, she's included. <laughs> yes, that's me. You said you done been here before. We're gonna yeah. make that work. Just wait there at them steps for me. We'll put you right up behind that first group. Oh, okay. All right. Can't yeah, beat yeah. that, can you? Can't beat that. All right. In fact, when we were first named number one, someone came by and said, "Oh, you are the chef," and I said, "No, I'm not the chef. I'm the pit master." Because I could just imagine this big white hat that tap under these black pits, what that would look like in an hour's time. And, and I just didn't consider, consider myself a chef. Dear Tate, man, try that brisket on me. You ain't with this, you ain't There's never bread. be disappointed in that brisket ever. I'm not bread. You want bread? No. I'm good. <laughs> oh, did you know me? I'm picky when it comes to my food. I'm just being critical and saying there could be, you know, there was ribs that, you know, were too dark, I guess. I like more of a red, but they had a little bit more pepper on them so they get darker. I'm just, I'm just going for perfect, even though I'm not going to get it. It's kind of, kind of good to push yourself. There. 